NZ Surf Fest, bringing together all the best NZ female surfers. Let's go! Tandi Tipini is carving it up as our national woman surf champ, proving her manoeuvres are pumping as we see the rise of the Māori female surfer on the ocean's waves. It's the Fano to Takimaikia Tandi Tipini, current national champ. Now she is going to open up the doors of what it's like being a female Māori surfer. Kia ora Tandi, how are you? Good, thank you. Ka pai. So when it comes to surfing, what is it that you love most about it? Just a lifestyle. You're in the water, you're being physical, and you're progressing, you know, a sport. So I just like it because of the freedom of it. You're a professional surfer, and do you have your own interior design company? Yeah. How do you cope with, you know, juggling these two beasts? Sometimes it's hard, <laughs> just, just in terms of priorities, you know, yeah. because they're quite even. When I'm doing my interior work, it's full focus on that. And then when I decide to go out the door and grab my board, you know, it, it's surfing time. Do male surfers look down on female surfers here? You know, there'll be guys out there that um, aren't interested in, in what women are doing in the water. But us girls can do whatever a guy can do. You know, there's no rules to say that we, we're never going to be as good. What's it like being the older sister and, and seeing your, your little sister, you know, finally getting into the comp side? I almost want to put my surfboard down and just help her, you know? <laughs> when I see her out there and the big waves are coming and she's stuck diving and going hard, I think, oh, you know, in five years she'll be, you know, oh, unstoppable. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is it like having such an awesome surf as a sister? A little bit of pressure. Yeah. Like, because, like, you get so many people come up to you and, like, oh, Oh, you're Tani's little sister. Yes, it's I like, understand that. Yeah, but she's just my sister. Yeah. Like, that's, she's like my idol, so, yeah. Are your family a good, you know, backbone for, for your surfing? Are they always supporting you and what you want to do? Yeah, definitely, go? yep. Um, they always believed in me. My husband, Bachelor, um, he's a, an amazing, amazing guy, an amazing surfer, so he's, he's there with me every day. She's got a really strong-minded will about her. You know, every negative thing she can turn into a positive outcome. She's just amazing, eh? Inspires a lot of people. Just a really good role model. And how hard is it being a professional surfer here in New Zealand? Is it hard to find sponsorship, that sort of thing? Money's tight and you have to kind of you have to look outside the square and you've got to you gotta work hard at it and I think um, and if you do you'll get you'll get looked after. Do you ever throw like tanties and stuff if things don't go your way? Or? I have actually in the past, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's gone to that point where it's just a huge amount of frustration and, and not knowing what to do with it, you know, it's pretty overwhelming. Um, especially when you work really hard towards something and then ride it, you know, it can be in the last 30 seconds of a heat and just bang, it's, you lose it. What's the camaraderie like between you and all the other NZ female surfers? We get along pretty good, like, outside of the water, but out in the water you just, you're not mates, really, you, yeah. you're going for it. OK, so female Māori surfers, are they on the rise? You know, here in Aotearoa? Yeah, I, I think they are. We've got Sarah Mason and her older sister is at uni, but she still rips and was in the final today, Irene. We've got myself and Winnie Paul, another top surfer. So I think there's something in the water. It's also maybe something to do with that, that mongrel, that little bit more aggression. Yeah. What do you think her chances are of hitting the post circuit? Um, pretty good chance if she keeps at it. Um, you know, she's surfing well and she's improved a lot in the last year just because she's been so focused and yeah. getting into it. So if she keeps at it, I reckon she has a good chance. And finally, will you ever stop surfing? No. Kaupai, I was expecting that one, girl. Ngari Kaupai, Hine, thank you so much for sharing your corridor with us. Your lovely person, lovely surfer, Eteti Etetashi, is a bloody legend.